So here's an interesting little wrinkle. You don't see it a lot, but you do see it some where a team is going to flip the back on the tight end for protection rules. So right now you can see here the 49ers taking Christian McCaffrey, putting him out in the slot in a position that a tight end would potentially align, and they're taking Kittle and they'll put him in the backfield. And the reason they're doing this is to help in the protection. They're thinking they got an issue in the protection. They know they're going to go with a six-man protection and leave the tight end in the backfield, and he's going to pick up. So that's the offensive side of this, kind of the interesting little pickup. The second side is here, the protection does not work. They get overloaded. It's not even an overload. They just get blitzed from the other side. And I think what the Niners were doing is trying to overset the Chris Jones over here, right? Because you see the right guard's got B-gap. The tackles in C gap and the tight end is working B to C. So they've got three guys for two gaps right now on the offense. On the other side, they've got a C gap and he's sliding into A and they've got no B gap blockers. They've only got two linemen for three gaps over here and they've got three guys for two gaps over there. I think they were sliding the protection to Chris Jones. I'm not positive. But either way, there's the wrinkle. First, the, uh, the ability to put the tight end in the backfield instead of the running back. It's worth looking at if you're a team that needs to do that. And on the flip side, the advantage of being able to leverage a guy as good here as Chris Jones is to create blitz packages on the other side, you know, and basically come through free.